Alrighty, we are live. And tonight we have two hours endurance racing group one and group three at Daytona for the Scallypunk charity endurance race. We've got Titanium Tin Man also live on comms as well. He's doing the comms for Lobby 1, so I'm going to be doing comms for Lobby 2 tonight. We're also going to be in open chat. So we've got two hours of madness to unfold. Oh, is he popping in as well? Oh, wicked. What, in this lobby? Yeah, Rip 1, Amazing. I believe, isn't it? Beautiful. Uh, that's not one. Yeah, I'll keep my eye out for him. YouTube bot isn't working, but Twitch is. K-Dub. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. shots, especially with the uh, carousel all lit up. Um, Phil's just sent me a chat invite. Hmm. I think he just invited everyone. I think he does an open party, so it goes to everyone. Are we joining that one? Yeah. I think this is being okay. delayed by an hour. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, so you was going to be in lobby one? Yes. With you, you. Who did you switch over with? Or did you just come over? Oh, yeah, Phil. Yeah. Yeah, UK is. <laughs> I don't think many people from UK would be happy with going 11 to 1. Keyword plant, yeah, that's that's how it always is. <laughs> Saint Jude's. Legend. Unfortunately, Richie can't join us today either in chat. Good to see you. Good to see Ian as well. It's great to He's, see you uh, both on a track, which is uh, pretty awesome, it must be said. I do like your livery, Richie. <clears throat> Big Brexit's in the group one. 
Richie, you should come back to me. <laughs> And Ian with the official Porsche livery for his uh, <laughs> group one today. He's back. Matt, I'm in lobby one. Just want to drop a like and wish everyone good luck. Have fun, everyone. Ray Rivera. Well, thank you for popping in. Good luck to your race as well. Great to see you today. <clears throat> as we watch Ian, I'm going to have to learn the uh, corner names for this uh, iconic. I know Porsche, and that's it. Porsche, yeah. Well, we've got Ian in the Porsche, Route 1. Yeah. The stop is now Le Mans. So, go, you go, you go. I'm gonna have to get Daytona this has a Le Mans corner, and Le Mans has an Indianapolis corner. Hey, it's Richie. Is um, Max in this chat? Yes. Oh, nice one. Hey. The big boys have <laughs> arrived. I'm pretty sure everyone here is. Jerry's in chat as well. Hello, Jerry. Oh, Simon. Simon's in. Yes, 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 yes. I thought you meant this one. Yeah, audio. No, <laughs> he's just in chat. Hi, Don. God. People leaving and the leaving and joining lag really hurts. <laughs> That's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> yes, I, I, I think I was. <laughs> Don's asked if I was around one day the thunder came out. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I, th I think so. I've definitely I've, I've watched it a lot when I was younger. I can't remember if we already owned it or if it came out while I was around. Ah, oh, dear me. I Josh, a film I that's it's nice done. to see you, by the way. For uh, called Driven, if any of you've seen that. Like a F1. It's quite fun. It's. I can't actually remember it all that well, but. Oh, Gary Mosey. Alrighty. Oh shit, what's like five? So I'm assuming we're gonna get going in a minute. I don't think Ian's supposed to be here. I think I've told him to wrong details. Hold on. I'm very sorry, Ian, if I have. <laughs> but actually, you, you've said you can't delay, so I mean, you can sort of stay here. I wouldn't. Would you see an issue with that? I'll, I'll talk to Phil. I've told Ian the wrong room. <laughs> I was just coming on the back of uh, your group three cars. Gonna have to get the uh, corner names up here for Daytona. Oh, there he is. Formation lap one, no overtaking. Okay. Okay, so we do have formation lap. Is there any rules on speed? Or just follow the car ahead of you. Are we saying gap between GT cars and an MP1? I mean, they'll they'll run away quicker anyway. Yeah. It's um, it'll be fastest first based on practice because that's the only setting you can do in this game. Okay, Oak. Oh, right, that makes sense. Got you. No problem. That, that actually kind of makes sense to do that, that. Yeah. Happy days. I get to take you boys around then. <laughs> For the formation lab. I haven't been able to put in a lap yet. Cause the only, <laughs> I went for one lap and I just hit the grass on the outside of Horseshoe. Richie. I just I oh my microphone. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. mate. I just wanted to join really really quickly. Um, Flash Tiger is after uh, donating three hundred dollars to the foundation. Oh wow! He's after. He's after. He's after sending me just a link onto it, and it's just. I just want to say thank you very much, Flash. Thank you so much, yeah, mate. Legit. Much appreciated. Nice one, Richie. Thank you. Thank you so much, Flash. Thank you so much, mate. Much appreciated. I've sent you the link um, for the stream. I hope you'll stick around and watch us. Um, I don't think you want to watch me, so um, I, said, <laughs> I, said, I put in Sir Max Turbos and I put in Max links. Have a join the stream. Jo have a look and uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, mate. Much appreciated. Wow, right, I'm going to bail out a chat. I I need to bail out of the chat. I need to focus. Enjoy your race, mate. Enjoy your good race. Luck. Good Enjoy luck. Race, good mate. luck. Good luck. Wow, that's incredible. Oh. Gary Moe. Andrew Racing has taken P1.
only in free practice, of course, but Ian is 0.201 off Andrew's time. Now Andrew's not racing, but he was sharing your YouTube, Max, is that right? Andrew's not streaming. Sorry, did you just say yes? Got you. Got you. Get that on my Discord as well. Let's get max to a hundred subs. Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's nice. So turbo. Come on. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, fucking. There you go. Have a 77th subscriber. <laughs> Legend. The mid life. Joined your video so much six during all the pub stuff. I just never subscribed. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Flash, I see you rocking up in chat, and hello to you, and again, I mean, I'm sure you just heard what Max had to say there, but yeah, we're, that's incredible. And to you, Max, I mean, with such a... We haven't even started the race, and um, already <laughs> amazing vibes, so it's happy days. Yeah, All we've right, just so been right. driving around, and <laughs> Nice to see you, Anthony, as well, matey. And Jeffro, Don, Flash. <laughs> yeah, this is qualifying. So, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, what I was asking is, even let's say McLaren didn't uh, qualify, like because he just forgot, like now, <laughs> would we just let him let him through to start with the? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Right, I need to enter then. No, I mean I? just go put in a lap. <laughs> hey, I got literally. I I have entered, so whenever you're ready, absolutely no rush. But um, I'm good to go whenever you are. Go on, Matt, grab a super formula out so you can start the front. <laughs> super formula pace car. I don't have the super formula. No, I'm going to have to go Porsche 911. Mini Porsche. You came second. Was it your Super Formula League that you came second in the other day? Very nice. Huh? Yeah, it was yesterday, wasn't it, actually? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Red Bull Ring's a fun track. 
It's quite a strange track, this one, isn't it? With the sense of, like, your braking markers. There's not that much to yeah. go off. No, it's quite empty. <laughs> really got to memorise it. Wow, big Brexit. Absolutely stonking in the uh, Group 1. Going where we were 32 sets. It's going to be uh, awesome to see the two classes, whoever's came up with that idea. Hats off to him. Yeah. We've been doing mixed class for... Oh, he oh. was just... Alright, so... Uh, I'm not sh sure. Did you just hit the inside wall? Alright, I'm in group 3. Someone just drew. <laughs> Are you in the Nissan? Oh, Blush, I think it's Ian. Blush, Right. Is this the start? Did you want me to wait at the end of the pits? Oh. Or on the, did you want me to wait on the start line for the formation? Uh, what will happen is you'll probably end up starting at the back if you haven't done a time. And then as when we start the race, you just sort of drive past everyone. Got you. And then we'll just follow you from there. Oh, Caro's gone. I got it. I might have helped for my time, Andrew. <laughs> oh, sorry, Garmy. It did. I got, I got, I got pushed by. Uh... Dicaro. Is he racing today? Because I think that's um Jay's brother, isn't it? Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's uh, in this lobby. I think Ian. Ian's here in the wrong lobby because he can't afford to delay and I told him the wrong lobby so that's kind of on me. <laughs> Are they not delaying anymore? Alrighty. Gary Mo oh, is currently us. the fastest and he is making his way through the bus stop. Did we say that was now called Le Mans, or...? Yes. Le Mans, okay. And then leading on to... The Daytona Super Stretch. The I'm International I'm Horseshoe. Oh, it's not here, that's why it's not going up on my phone. Alrighty, so, clipping the apex of the International Horseshoe and then making his way up to Porsche Platz. Left-hand kink here, I'm assuming it's flat out in the Group 1s. It's... Flat out in Group 3 as well. On decent tyres. Yeah, no, I was not around when Days of Thunder came out. <laughs> I just looked. 
Oh. Oh. Mm. Typing in that chat's not gonna help. <laughs> yeah. Um. Just going to go change his oil. It's definitely working. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm going to be sending people your way for the donations throughout the duration of this stream anyway, Max. I, um, I have my phone with me and I'm just trying to put the link on, but I can't edit it through my phone to put the uh, link in the description. Um, I haven't got my laptop with me at the minute because we've just been away to London and in between two houses so I'm going to be sending people to your um, stream for that link tonight hopefully we can um, get you some subs as well in the process Yeah, it would be nice um, to see you do some more, that's for sure. Do you not stream your Super Formula League? Ah, alright. Ah, that's understandable. Legend Richie. That is such a clever way. I can just post it into the chat. And then awesome. pin it if you want as well. There we go. That's what Solution I've done. solved. I've got I've got a decent like you know exclamation mark donate bot working on Twitch, but it wouldn't work on YouTube. So I've just pinned a comment with the link. Hello, Dougie. Nice to see you. And yeah, I appreciate it, Richie. Thank you for everything you do. Okay, dokie. Oh, for what? Oh. 
So what is Max in? He is in the Peugeot Group 3. good on my TV, I can say that much. It's beautiful work done. It do yeah, it does. Y you can really see the uh, the St. Jude's on the side. It's beautiful. Yeah, what is the uh, time scale for tonight? Uh, with six regards times, to I think. So the weather progression. I think I think the deals I do are six times because then it ended up being like a twelve hour time. And is it just gonna be sunny weather? <laughs> or are we gonna be expecting yeah. some potential weather you shifts? Don't, uh, don't get rain. Definitely no rain. Don't get okay. rain in America okay. apparently. None of the American tracks have it. Yeah, I'll just grab that for you now, Jeffro. Things with them. the GT7 and the open lobbies. It's, it's, it's a shame this isn't really fixed, especially at this point as well, but nevertheless, here we are. Okie doke. So. Yep, that's fair enough. <laughs> okay. He, so he gave me my fast the solution. Absolutely. Sorry. Okay, so Sir Max's um, YouTube is now in the chat, so if you click that link, um, that'll send you oh. to Max. Henrich, nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Flash, mate. Yeah, have a good one. Enjoy your night. Appreciate everything you've done. You and Max are absolute legends, so... Enjoy your night with Netflix, and we'll see you soon, buddy. Happy days. Well, this is going to be a good one, especially with the uh, multi-class racing we've got going on here at Daytona. Out of fuel again. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, well, we'll jump on board with McLaren Fiji for a few moments. I've come back to here. It's going to be 
gonna be a good one. Hello, Henry. Well, Garimo seems to be quickest here on track today at Daytona. Garimo was quick in the Plebs League as well, wasn't he? Not racing on the first lap. <laughs> so we've got horseshoe into the dog leg, into the west horseshoe, through into NASCAR one, NASCAR two, oh. through Le Mans, NASCAR three, NASCAR four. Yeah. Got you. So, obviously we get no gap. We're not actively leaving a gap between GT3 and LMP1. Do I also launch as the LMP1 launch? Alright, so... So, when Garamo goes across, I also go across. Why am I in third? We've all I'm not supposed up. to be here. <laughs> all right, you two go. You two go past. I am. Oh, you freak right it. Behind Richie. Why? I can't get through. I can't see half the grid. Right, I am now making my way. I can't see half the grid. I can see you, Max. Oh, there's another. Ah, I see. I see. Right, so I, 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 it was me then. The one starting in S was second. Yeah, if you. Yeah. Right, I'm making right, my I'm way gonna... to your right, Max. Yeah. I'm on control okay. as well. I'm not used to this. <laughs> We're all good though. We're up to the. You're not getting your wheel up just so you can do a lap of him. <laughs> oh, just made it through Gary Mo on pad. Right, check up quite hard. <laughs> okay. I won't go alongside LMP and LMP1, so I'll keep a new group. Who's stuck at the start line? Richie. It was him that was uh, just ahead of me. on this one, Max. You coming alongside All right, Max? Richie is parked to the left. This isn't the pits, is it? This is the pits. Okay, I am in. Two hours of Daytona Group 1 and Group 3 action is underway. Just waiting 
for these animations to finish. It's amazing, we always try these formations like that, they always go wrong. It's, I think it's because we don't ever practice them. <laughs> well, I'm on. What's expected we're, of them. we're back in business. And it looks as though P1 has uh, got a pretty decent gap already on Captain Emerald. Let's have a quick little look at the race display. 3.366 seconds, Captain Emerald in P2, Andrew racing P3. He's rocking. Is he in the Toyota today? Ah. Richie said he's running, but he's, and he's not far, so he's got the uh, invisibility book. Richie, if you do, I am very, very sorry on behalf of everyone if we hit you. We cannot see <laughs> you, we cannot feel you. <laughs> but please, yeah. Enjoy your race, Richie. Yeah, it's uh, Gran Turismo really do need to uh, step the game up with these sorts of things, especially yeah. for a uh, an online game. But nevertheless, the show must go on. McLaren uh, is now P5, EMP6, which means Christian is leading the group three cars. Sir Max just in the back of the camera shot. See the ghost of Richie there just pulled to the right. And Max is side by side with the Corvette. Corvette maybe has uh, some legs on it here, which might come to an advantage on the straights here at Daytona. Max on the inside, making his way up to Horseshoe. And Theo just lurking in the background there as well. And there's a beautiful shot of the St. Jude's Hospital. No. Corvette's um, just gone to mow the lawn, which has given Theo the run to the slip street on Max Christian, just at the corner of the TV shot there. Let's have a little jump back on board with the Group 1s. So we've got Ian's a 1.8, 1.6. That time is coming down. The exits are going to be crucial here on some of the corners with such long acceleration points. But more, more beneficial for the Group 1s to be able to get that power down as early as possible. 0.8 of a second separating McLaren Fiji to big Brexit in P4 in the orange Daytona liveried group one Andrew racing in P3 three seconds ahead of big Brexit and 2.8 seconds separating himself and Captain Emerald in P2 as they both hurtle their way up to the final left hand corner good evening Zavi Mr. Luka Zavisic Great to see you, mate. Thanks for popping in. Hope you're doing well. You've joined us at a pretty awesome time. We've just kicked things off with a formation lap here for the Daytona two-hour endurance race for St. Jude's Hospital Charity Race. And we're currently watching Andrew racing hurtle his way around Daytona in the group ones 3.6 seconds separate him and Captain Emerald in P2 and you can still see the ghost of Richie there they're there already oh. that was the uh, pace car Jeffro yes so with NASCAR 1 NASCAR 2 and then they make their way through the bus stop now called Le Mans, and Gary Mo is uh, is running away with it. It's going to be interesting to see the Group Ones having to uh, traverse the way past the Group Threes 
as the rest of this race continues. See, we have tire wear, fuel wear. Let's have a quick little look at the details of this race. Give you guys a little bit more of the lowdown. We've got tire wear on four, fuel is on times three. And I believe the time progression is time six. What did you forget? <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 he's quite, he's quite solid. doing a pretty good job in hanging on to the tail end of McLaren Fiji as he makes his way through turn 6 up to turn 7 of NASCAR 1 into NASCAR 2 and then hurling their way down to Le Mans. He's in the slipstream. It's a point three. It's a point two point four. It's a point one of a second. McLaren taking a defensive line into Le Mans. Goes back into the racing line. I mean, he's take a serious amount of speed through the corners there and Ian with a run on McLaren into NASCAR 3 I hope I'm not on the infield or going into Le Mans <laughs> so that's Gary Mo making his way through the pack. Into the inside of the Corvette through the second West Horseshoe and into NASCAR 1. He takes a clean run. The Corvette. Oh no. Goes side by side with Theo into NASCAR 1 and Theo takes the lead he's in the Volkswagen and the Corvette already gaining pace with that brutal V8 and passes Theo and we can just see Max there in the slipstream range 0.7 and it's coming down as they make their way through Le Mans and Captain Emerald working his way through the Group 3s as they enter NASCAR 4. Point 0.6 of a second separating Max to Theo. Point 0.9 of a second separating Theo to Schleif. Right way to pronounce that. And Christian is 10 seconds ahead of the rest of his group threes. What's he got to say to that? <laughs> I don't know where Richie is. <laughs> So... <laughs> right. 
Another group one on its way. Oh no. This is, should be interesting. Someone's catching me up as I'm going into the bus stop. <laughs> so Andrew racing, making his way to the side of the Corvette there, making his way up to Le Mans. What a beautiful shot that is as well with the group three cars in Grand tow. Grand next then. Or disconnect. Toyota. Gary Moe's gone. Yeah, he had to disconnect. He's got a bit of a lead on the end then. Five seconds separating them both. Who's it? Oh, it's, it's you. McLaren Fiji. Oh, no, it's Andrew. <laughs> nice little gap there to Ian. That GLRC lesson. It was there a seal, yes. And he's got the fastest um, lap. I, I've I've just left because people can't see me. I've been pushed all over the place, and I don't know where people people don't know where I am. And it's just with the group ones coming through as well. No, it's not fair on other people. So. Mm. Of course, of course. I think I think I cause. It. Say sorry to your man in sixth place, Shafe, or whatever. I think he came up behind me and he didn't know I was there and just spun. Um, yeah, I'm sorry to anyone. I don't know what the issue is, but I've just I bailed out of it anyway. It's too dangerous for other guys. So, thank you very I much. Do, I don't think it affects other people. But well, I, th I, th I think I think your man is after um, losing it, Shafe, behind me because he um, I was the, probably too slow, but. Sorry, but thank you very much anyway, um, and have a good evening. I'll be watching the race, I'll be watching the race. Enjoy your night, mate. Sorry about that. No worries at all. Have a good evening, guys. Bye bye bye. Oh. I know. Did you. Did you come off at the. Uh... And just get reset like halfway back damn track. <laughs> yeah. And I reset you back to <laughs> Ian, the Ian with a spin. That's it. I'm sure plenty will happen. It usually does, especially with the tire wear and uh, fatigue hitting, which uh, for two hours endurance racing is um, is a fair feat in itself. Keep focused for that long. And pins and needles in your fingers. That's annoying. Oh yeah, controller is just a whole new level of fun. Don says the racing is looking really good in the streams. I think it's definitely a good test for... Uh, I mean, if anything, you know, minus the little niggles, this it, it, does, it does look amazing. I think once they've got everything sorted, it'll be a... It'll be a real pleasure because I think one of the other things that I've noticed that they haven't implemented yet is the um, the keyboard. I can't use the keyboard, so I can't yeah. choose the camera angles. I can't, you know, pick up and choose. I think uh, um, one. I think the reason the lobby is still a bit meh is because they haven't completely shut down sport yet. So I think they're sharing servers.
<laughs> That's what he was doing. He was waiting for he was waiting for Fiji. That's what you were doing, Ian. I get it, I get it, I get it. So the battle between red and blue is back on. Fiji and the red Toyota and Ian rocking the blue official Porsche Group 1 livery. Sorry, you're in the Audi, aren't you? Not the Toyota. Let's have a little look on the inside of this beast. As he makes his way through Le Mans. That's just incredible speed through there as well. Oh, into the pits we go. <laughs> so Ian and Fiji are passing the pits. As, uh, oh yeah, Christian don't crap in the killer. <laughs> for a fresh set of Bridgestone Potenzas. Mediums off. Mediums on. Going for some fuel. God, your feels up so slowly in this in game. <laughs> it looks beautiful though. Indeed. And we jump on board. GoPro inside Christian's Group 3 GTR. It's a Chevrolet GTR. <laughs> Chevrolet GTR. Chevrolet GTR. Love it. That looks awesome inside. You've got a cool dash just to your left that you might not be able to see. Uh, no. to NASCAR 1 in P8, 11 seconds ahead of Max, but there is plenty of time left to go. We're going to see plenty of action unfold, and Captain Emerald working his way up to some back markers as he makes his way up to the first section of the horseshoe. Andrew Racing P2. Pursuit of Captain Emerald. A big Brexit just passing Sir Max there in the Group 3 Peugeot and onto NASCAR 3, into NASCAR 4. I think that's a join. They look like a joint. Oh, hello, Emerald. Absolutely. It's uh, all here for the cause. It's always a uh, good time. <laughs> Alright, 
Randy jumping above with Max. Looks like he's going to get passed by Group 1's Fiji. Well, it does look good. Good evening, boys. Good evening, good evening. He's on his way to Tuxedo. Hey, welcome back, sir. How we doing? How we doing? My TV? Yeah. That, can you hear it now? Okay, I'll just bail out of the chat. It doesn't matter. No worries. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Till next time, matey. Yeah, there was there was a buzz coming through. It was uh, I don't know whether he said he had a problem with his mic earlier. To be fair, so Five seconds separate Christian to Theo. Just see Christian enter the horseshoe, as does Theo. So, not that much time separating those two. Get a flex. Captain Emerald is just running away with it. Andrew has had a spin uh, coming onto the oval. Oh. That's going to have separated a little bit more time between himself and Captain Emerald. So if Captain Emerald can keep this up, he's there. Uh, He's going to put on a pretty impressive performance as they make their way through lap 16 here at Daytona and Andrew now coming up to the right side of Christian. Thank you. Christian taking the inside line in the group 3 GTR and trying to utilize some slipstream. Was he giving you a wiggle then? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I didn't know if that was lag or not. <laughs> oh, I've gone deep. Yeah, we just caught that on camera as well, Christian. Excellent. <laughs> not very often you get to catch a life crash. Just in the, uh, just in the right, right, right hand uh, section of the screen. It looks really good though, there's definitely a, a really good depth of field. GT7. It does look very real from what I'm seeing. It is uh, it's very impressive and the cars do look really good as well. Is it just you, Max, with the uh, the livery? For St. Jude's, I think it is. Oh no, we've got Theo as well. You've got some nice shots of him actually in the pits, rocking the St. Jude's children's research hospital and I think now is a good time as any to mention that the links for donating to this cause which is why we are all joining together tonight um, is both in my pinned message in the description and Max also streaming as well Sir Max Turbo we'll give him a go say hello he also has the description and yeah so if you want to donate, it is all there, ready for you to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
it's a very fair point there. I think a lot of people sometimes they maybe want to help out but necessarily can't financially. But I think even just sharing the link, it's you know, it's, it's, it's the people that want to donate will, and I think that's that's important. Thanks for popping in, Jeffro. And uh, we'll see you soon, buddy. And Hulek, good to see you, mate. Thank you for popping in. Let's jump on board with the GoPro camera inside P1 Captain Emeralds. Let him uh, take us round in his Group 1 Porsche. Give us a bit of a lap guide here at the Daytona circuit. As he makes his way through Horseshoe. And the left hander of Dogleg. Take that flat. Not many brake markers. As we come up to the West Horseshoe. And up to turn 6 where you hide on the brakes. Throwing the car in left, and obviously you want to get the car as straight as possible here, so you can get the gas as early as possible because this straight is a long one. It must be said. Through NASCAR one into NASCAR two, and up to the bus stop, now aptly named Le Mans. As it takes us through in the Porsche. Barely off the gas, back on, and into NASCAR 3 and 4. And up to that start finish, which is 1 minute 34 seconds. That was 1 minute 34 point three for Captain Emerald there, 27 seconds separating himself and Andrew. We'll just jump on board with Andrew for a few moments. I think uh, it's worthwhile mentioning as well, like I say, go say hello to Max, but also if you're not aware of Andrew Racing, um, you should be. <laughs> um, always nice to be able to jump into someone's stream especially late night so if you do live in England and you're a night owl like myself and, uh, obviously all the UK streamers have gone to bed Andrew Racing lives in Las Vegas I believe and um, yes and the really good streams and Max is there as well you can see Max in chat so you should get yourself over to Andrew Racing even I go there occasionally. Yes, it's good to see you everywhere, Christian. God, this Toyota Hybrid looks like a weapon. Uh, it'd be interesting to know. I mean, some of the Group Ones have hybrid, and some of them don't. Is that correct? Uh, I think all the ones in this race have hybrid. Oh, Andrew, racing <laughs> a little bit too eager on the gas, or oh, tires are uh, beginning to fade. But that is a spin <laughs> into NASCAR 3. <laughs> so we might see him enter the pits now. It looks like he's trying to get the uh, gravel off or get some feel back in the steering wheel. But he makes his way up to Le Mans after that spin. And that looks as though just coming up to the Volkswagen. Theo in P9. <laughs> Two percent fuel. EMP4, big Brexit P5, Christian P6, 36 seconds, leading the Group 3 class. Let's hope he can. He, he, let's hope he crashes into a wall. And. Uh, <laughs> I don't need to hope, that's just a given. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. Probably in about an hour's time. Let's see some more close racing. 
Oh. It looks good on it looks good on the camera shots. It must be said. It must be said. Oh, we've got a police like oh dear. Schlick Please hurry up. Seven max P. I believe that is Ian. Is that Ian coming up behind me, Matt? So Andrew making his way to the right hand of Max. I thought you may have, may have given him a bump then. But he's took the right hand section through NASCAR 1. Sorry, NASCAR 3 is that? No, it's NASCAR 1. Exiting NASCAR 3, making his way up to Le Mans. We've got Max in the left hand of the camera shot there. As I believe the sun is beginning to set. You can see the uh, shadows and the different colours and hues pop off the cars, which is nice and pretty. And obviously we'll be trek to the beautiful 4K um, floodlights coming on. And I think the uh, wheel also lights up as well, so we'll have some visual treats on the way. Captain Emerald in the pits, Andrew track. P1. <laughs> Unlike Deep Forest. And Andrew making his way through. Horseshoe into the left hander of Dogleg into West Horseshoe. Captain is now P2, 14 seconds separating himself between him and P1 of Andrew. Just see Theo in the back of the camera shot there of Captain Emerald in the group one making his way through the left hand of Dog Leg. And Captain Emerald coming up to another group three back marker of Sir Max. Captain taking the inside line and on to NASCAR one. 14.2 seconds separating them. We'll just keep an eye on that. Big Brexit taking P3. Ian in the pits with the Sophia official Porsche liveried group one there. An absolute weapon. <laughs> and I imagine they take many literage as uh, I would imagine they're extremely uh, thirsty cars even with uh, modern fuel saving advancements McLaren now P4 Andrew in the pits two liters of fuel <laughs> everyone's kind of close today <laughs> oh that's a lovely sky it's only gonna get prettier. Yeah, I know I have that. Yeah. This uh, this GTR it has headlight covers. No. <laughs> You're not gonna be it does, able but to sometimes see. Sometimes they don't work. If you, <gasps> Matt, did you did you see the Deep Forest uh, video I put in? I haven't yet. Is it on your channel? Is okay. it? Okay. Yes, I did a lap. I did a race out. at Deep Forest. I got a video of a lap of my view of Deep Forest. My lights would not turn on. And Deep Forest is not illuminated. Oh no. Interesting. Well, the beginning of the uh, nightfall is upon us. Andrew Racing giving everyone a flash who's watching from YouTube in his Toyota Group 1 but the side of the car I think the numbers beginning to uh, illuminate and we've got a couple of are they the hybrid lights on the side of the car or are they just nighttime lights it's, there's two dots and this one is just behind the front wheels with you. God, they don't have to go through Le Mans quick. Only nine seconds separating Andrew from Big 
Brexit now, who's taking P3, McLaren P4, only 10 seconds separating himself and Ian in the Audi and Porsche. Hulek also giving a shout out to Ian in P5. And nice to see you, Flash. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed uh, Netflix, whatever you was watching. I'm sure it was something good. <laughs> and Christian's still rocking. Oh, no, you do have tiny little lights, though, Christian. They're only small, yeah. but they're there. I can see a bit, but no, <laughs> when I did Deep Forest, they refused to turn on. Oh, no. So, yeah. I... Yeah. It's like they turn on on this track, on a track which is already illuminated, but on a track which has no lights, they won't turn on. <laughs> They're so small. Yeah, they are pretty useless. <laughs> I will be honest, I'm that dazed at the moment that it does look like it's making a smiley face. <laughs> when, I, when, I'm, when I'm facing the grating, there's a, long, there's a long bar obviously hitting the floor, and then it's dotted along the grating. And it makes me, yeah, it's, it's making me happy. I'm slightly worried that I can see that. <laughs> it does. Oh, I like the sun. See the where, wheel where is light the sun? I think well, it's, yeah. That's so beautiful. I think the sun down Look is just round the horseshoe. Yes, it is. There it is. Extremely beautiful. <laughs> How beautiful yeah. this is. All oh, thanks to NASA, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, this is one of the, you know, I mean, this is ultimately what it's all about for me, isn't it? I, I, do, I do love racing, don't get me wrong, and I'll always compete. I do I do love the buzz, but just, just to be able to enjoy the moment and take in the sights and sounds of whatever you're seeing, it's, it's, it re they've done really well. They've done really, really well. The, fe the wheel looks beautiful. <laughs> Alrighty, a fair bit of action making the way through the horseshoe. Let's jump on board with Theo. Oh, fireworks. I was gonna say I can hear the fire. I can hear them as well. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's amazing. <laughs> I can actually hear the fireworks go off. No, yeah, they're, they're outside my window. <laughs> I think. I can't tell anymore. Yeah, I think. I think they're outside my house. <laughs> I was just about to say that was a beautiful shot of the plane green and red light on either wing but we're, we've got Theo on the camera shot and we've got Max and Schleif both in shot as they make their way through a beautiful section of NASCAR here at Daytona for the two hour St. Jude's Children Hospital charity race and this is why we are here to enjoy the moment Theo rocking the St. Jude's uh, livery, as is Max just in the back of that camera shot there, as they make their way up towards Horseshoe. camera inside Sir Max's Peugeot Group 3. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a uh, Mr. Fiji is going to be making his way around, so keep your eyes out for a Group 1. I haven't seen you yet. Oh, this looks oh no, beautiful. I think I've seen you there once. There he is. Fiji yeah. with a serious amount of speed. And away they go. Just look at the speed difference. And these Group 3s are no slouches, that is for sure. Over 500 horsepower. That is a serious piece of kit. And that Group 1 is 
gone, just making its way through the months. And we're getting some really nice shots of Daytona as well. From this view. 1.9 separating Max and Theo. Captain Emerald P1 making his way up to the back of the pack. We'll jump back on board with him in a few moments. We've got Andrew racing, making his way up to the West Horseshoe. And oh. onto the NASCAR is that straight. Me, then? Is that you just ahead, is it? I believe so. He's exiting West Horseshoe. Carrying as much speed as he possibly can there. Maximizing on the momentum in his Toyota 5 hybrid onto NASCAR. Christian just entering Le Mans. Going up to the halfway point now, actually. It's already been like 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey Kyle, how are you mate? Thanks for coming in. Alright, I got blue flags, who's up? Who's coming? There, it's when I was doing fast. it, I wasn't braking <laughs> until you got to the curb. <laughs> Is it? Oh, it's Andrew. I feel these camera Can angles I are even more real in GT7. It looks stunning. It most certainly does. I'm most certainly captivated right now with the uh, uh, scenes of Daytona falling into nightfall. Andrew around the outside. Anyone else? Alright, uh, enjoy yourself, Kyle. I'll catch you in your next stream. So 136s seems to be where Andrew is uh, falling into place. The Toyota Captain Emerald in the 133s, really rocking it in the Group 1 here at Daytona. Fastest My outlap is faster than Andrew. Big Brexit. 134.8 in lap 21. McLaren VGP4. 11 seconds separating him from a podium. P3. Ian in P5 equal distance there or thereabouts and Fiji in the middle <laughs> I only could I could only glance at it as I'm going around the corners but I believe <laughs> I know what it says <laughs> yes it is a, it's very short and very to the point I like that Just a little bit of uh, a foresight. We do indeed have Mr. DTR Vines streaming as well over at Vines Racing. for the Daytona 2 hour. So please feel free to go say hello, give him a like. Uh, 
I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that means you're coming for me as well. <laughs> Up the inside around this one. One minute is separating P1 to P2. Currently, 30 laps in here at Daytona. Nice to see you, Neil. Thank you for popping in, matey. For the two hour Enduro here at Daytona. And we're here for a very good cause, St. Jude's Research Hospital. And we have the legend Andrew Racing joining us as well. I know we were talking about him the other day. <laughs> mainly because uh, he's uh, up when the rest of the UK boys are asleep. He's currently rocking P2. <laughs> Alrighty, Ian. Giving everyone a flash. It's always nice when the uh, LMP wants to have a little bit of patience. Looks like he's getting into the swing of things now as well. As he makes his way. Is that Emerald? Sir yep. Max in the Peugeot onto NASCAR. Come on, Captain, drag me along. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Ian running a little bit too hot there. All of his work's gonna come undone. Not quite able to get as uh, much downforce as he probably wanted through Le Mans, but nevertheless, he's now gonna have to catch back up to Sir Max. Christian P6, six minutes, 20 seconds are separating Christian to Captain Emerald in the Group 1 and Group 3 class. I hope. Thanks for hopping in, buddy. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, event so far. Still got an hour to go. <laughs> Christian's tiny lights. Honestly, they're they're abysmal. <laughs> like, what? Who thought? Yes, let's cover up the source of sight. I suppose if you're racing only in the daytime. Yeah. Hmm. Or just add them all. It's Pliffney, they've got the money to do that.
Short list or long list? <laughs> I was going to say the Corvette. As soon as they get that line, they are gone. <laughs> Who's this? Is it you coming up for turn one, or is it Captain Emerald again? Or Andrew, possibly, actually. Andrew... ...is making right, his way. Is he on the inside of Christian? Christian giving him that space... Hurry up! ...in the GTR, <laughs> and Andrew <laughs> racing. <laughs> Powers down. It is a uh, Toyota hybrid. Christian trying to utilize as much of the slipstream as he possibly could for as little as time as he had there. Badger Racing making his way through the right hander of West Horseshoe and up to the final left hander on to the straight into NASCAR. As we are trying to some beautiful shots here. The two hour enduro St. Jude's charity race organized by Hello Clay. Lovely to see you, mate. Thank you for popping in. Organized by the Scallypunk charity and uh, St. Jude's Children Research Hospital. Uh, it's a new one for me. Um, are they based in England, these guys? I think because Phil went there, didn't he? That's uh, what you were saying. Uh, but I think uh, they're mainly based in America. And Phil's racing, isn't he? Got you. Yes. So we he was going to be in the front, but he wasn't able to make the time, unfortunately. Another lobby on the go. So we're in lobby two at the minute. And lobby one is on the go. I believe that's being commentated by the legendary Ruse Racing Rambles. Mm -hmm. Who unfortunately could not be present earlier for DWP to see Michelina take the win. <laughs> oh. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Andrew racing well, now, making his way up to Max. As he exits West Horseshoe. Andrew racing in the slipstream of the Peugeot. He's going to go to the right right side of Max and all his horsepower is doing the work. <laughs> Matt, who's uh, going around the first bank after the, uh, coming up to the um, Le Mans. Who's oh just God! Gone through it. Hello. Can you please stay there? <laughs> Big Brexit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was the scariest hello I've ever heard. <laughs> just realizing who where I was. I was like, hello. <laughs> it's such a friendly. Innocent hello coming up to one of the most devastating parts of the track. <laughs> An American organization. Cool. 30 player lobbies would be amazing, and I think, oh, especially yeah. for Enduro, the, the, the options would be endless. You know, you've got weather as well. I do. Oh, yellow flags. Clara now making his way up to <laughs> Sir Max. <laughs> oh, there's another blue flag. Who's this? I assume it's Ian. Where is he? Okay, he's far enough behind him. That's it. Cut him off, Max. <laughs> 
Don't worry, I'm, I'm causing Ian time. <laughs> Great game. <laughs> I know it was Captain Emerald. He was, expect he was expecting me to go to the right, so we stayed left and then we just sort of converged. I'm not sure where he is. <laughs> yeah. Fiji making his way past Max and Theo before Le Mans. And Captain exiting Le Mans like a hey. bullet. Beautiful. 31 laps in. <laughs> uh, uh. He's just skipping ahead. <laughs> yeah. Captain Emerald on the inside of Theo there. It's a horseshoe, beautiful shot of the wheel. Yellow LEDs looking at glorious on GT7 into the right hander of West Horseshoe for the 38th time today here at Daytona for the two hour St. Jude's charity race. They're already on 38? Yeah. Let's Go. jump on board with Christian <laughs> in the GoPro camera as you can see Max Turbo just in the center of his front <laughs> window shield. He's got the slipstream on the Peugeot. He's taking the right hand side of Max. Through Le Mans. <laughs> Inside of Theo's car looks uh, rather special. It's got some interesting colours going on. Oh, you can see the throttle input on the middle of the screen. Huh. <laughs> Just caught Max there doing a bit of Tokyo Drift. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bringing the entertainment. <laughs> yep. One, 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 one minute and eleven seconds separating Captain and Andrew. Captain's just absolutely flying away with it here today. Fiji P3, only nineteen seconds separating him and Andrew, which is uh, maybe nothing other than a spin from Andrew. So we'll see what Fiji can do in P3. As the GoPro cam shakes to the high heavens through Nescar there. Up to the start finish line for the 38th time. 39, we're on lap 39 now. Ian, left hand side of Max into Le Mans. He's taking P4, only six oh, seconds God. ahead of Big Brexit. Of course, we have just passed the halfway mark, so tyres, fuel, so much to consider. Ian at the minute and your car is spitting flames Christian yes <laughs> it looks awesome that was an amazing shot sounds good as well 
Oh, he's coming. Captain Emerald just just in or out of slipstream range there. Brexit, please hurry up and get past me before the chicane. <laughs> please? As he hunts Fiji down. As we've got a little bit of a group one fight going on here. GoPro cam actually follows the car in front, which is cool. Passing the LED wheel. Hard on the brakes into West Horseshoe. Fiji takes the first right clip in the apex, as does Emerald. Emerald a little bit back end coming out there, having to correct. Might give Fiji a little bit of a run ahead of Captain onto NASCAR. And it looks like he's just out of slipstream. <laughs> Captain taking the inside line, taking the shortest line, but still no slipstream. So much speed. So fast on the onboard there, and he's got the slipstream of Fiji taking the right hand run? side. <laughs> <laughs> Can't laugh you if you're not on the track. Oh, there's a spin for me, and <laughs> oh, where, where's Seal? Because it's come up with him fast lap of a 31.6, but I can't see him. Yeah. He don't even think he raced. It just gave him the fastest lap. <laughs> yeah, he, just, he wasn't even... He joined halfway through the race. Yeah. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> 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 Racing, making his way up to Max, and he's trying to gain as much slipstream as he can there from Max's Group 3 Peugeot. Ian is going to his way on to T1. It's insane speed, it really is. It must put you in a trance driving that for two hours. Only because he's fun. <laughs> so he managed to get him because of that. Or, or was it your uh, was it your really good pit strategy? Yeah. Oh, Ian Ooh. lost the back end there. Out some of bad ghost things, the last turn. On t oh no. I think you need some new tyres, matey. It's going to be in the pits there for uh, the Porsche, but he was just behind McLaren. Nevertheless, I'm sure I'll go into the pits, get some fresh tyres on and get out and have some more battles for the remainder of this race. <laughs> My Delta's completely... Oh no, here we go. It's just come back. Disappeared then. Yeah, my, my doubt is gone now as well. Consistent 146s from Christian in the GTR. Oh, yeah. As he now makes his way to the rear end of Theo in the Volkswagen. Oh, no, he's into the pits. Get scared, right? Four litres of fuel, <laughs> that makes sense.
<laughs> yeah, I was close, and then I had to go in. I was on like point four laps of fuel. <laughs> Chow chow ho leg. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely view. So Big Brexit's got a 133.9. Andrew. It's not giving me his fastest lap. We've got a 134.9. Five there, Captain. One thirty-three point three. Only twenty seconds ahead of Andrew though now. As we make our way up towards lap forty-four here at the Daytona two-hour St. Jude's Hospital charity race. Link in everyone's live streaming description. So like I said, go say hello. And uh, also. Links are in everyone's live stream. If you do wish to donate, and if you cannot donate, sharing is uh, another way of getting that message out there for the people who want to and can. One minute separating Andrew to big Brexit. Andrew coming up to the rear end of that sh Corvette. Schlaf allowing Andrew to make his way through. It's got to be said, these Group 1s, the downforce and the grip that they generate, is uh, it really is a feat to see. Plus the uh, amount of available horsepower. Perfect track. Fiji making his way up towards the bus stop. He's got a couple of cars just ahead of him. That's Captain and Max. So Fiji's going to have to traverse his way past the Group 3 Peugeot. He's giving him a flash. <laughs> Takes the position <laughs> over the Group 3. <laughs> uh, crosses that start finish line. We're into lap 44, and Fiji is now chasing Captain Emerald. If you heard your name, it was all good things. Oh, it is enough. Ian making his way past Christian. DTR boys in different classes here today at Daytona. And into Le Mans. Absolutely rapid. Ian with a little bit of too much uh, pace there. Just cutting the grass. Look how much time he gained <laughs> in that MV1 just through that <laughs> corner. Dear me. But Christian's still leading the Group 3 race. With his tiny lights on the front end of his GTR. Number oh, 46. Just... Is that in reference to Valentino Rossi? Uh, no, it's just the number of the uh, cold trickle in the film. Got you. I got to see Valentino Rossi today, which was uh, quite a special moment in itself. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I think uh, 
Roar is also doing a 50 laps of the Nurbo ring when he hits 50k for his members and subscribers. Yeah, it's difficult as well. You can only be in one place at one time, especially when there's so many different YouTubers on. But I wonder whether you... Uh, do you follow many American YouTubers then? Apart from Andrew. They occasionally as well. Jay, Jay used to. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Adventure James? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't he join us for one of these one time? Another legend. He's not doing YouTube anymore though, is he? He's just completely on Twitch now. With you. Yeah, I had an email, I had a refund from Google that said put, put 5 dollars back in your account because uh, it doesn't have a subscription oh, service anymore. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Absolutely, no, I understand that. I think, um, like I say, there's only one of you, you can only be in one place at one time, but I think um, it's interesting, you know, the community and who helps who and who's in it, you know, to enjoy it and that kind of thing. And I think, uh, you know, meeting Rory today, he was, I can honestly say that he was a very genuine and humble guy, and he's the, he is the type of guy that I'd like to, you know, I mean, spend time with and, and support. And I think, you know, he's, he's gone from 35 to 45. K subscribers in six weeks. He's gone full time now. He's got a great community to support him um, out of work, and you know he's got so much growth left. Yeah, he's still only at the beginning of his journey as well. You know he's got so much growth available, especially being full time. But it's just nice to know that you know you're you're into him as well. It's just interesting the connection between everyone. It's quite a s yeah. yeah. It's like if you if you go round, it's like you always see Baz, you always see Sean, you always see Matt. Now I've recognised, <laughs> finally recognised the name. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure. I think that's, again, that's one of the, the kind of beautiful things about the community, you know, people that are genuinely passionate about it, you know, you can do things like that, share your videos and connect with other people that are obviously serious and passionate about it as well. It's uh, That's it's another nice thing I've see. seen, like, how much everyone likes health each Like, if you go to, let's, I don't know what game, let's take Warframe, for example, just because that's a game in my head. If you go to like a, a dedicated Discord for someone who does that, you don't see like the your content stuff. But then if you go to like Rory, Kirith, Ollie, Echo Green, all of them have a post your content or support yourself kind of thing. So I heard people, that, uh, earlier today, uh, Becca Green, Kyle, uh, came in and said hello. It's like, oh, hello. 
And then he's like added everyone and said, oh yeah, come check this out, you know, great cause, just have some fun with it. Ian doing his best to hang on to Andrew. <laughs> no donuts good today, job. Ian. <laughs> He's doing a good job. Porsche and uh, Toyota Group 1. They do look extremely fast, though. And we've got a big Brexit on the outside of Schleif. Hey, when they get there, have a look at what speeds they're able to do through the uh, bus stop. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Phil was in the WRX, that was pretty competitive, as we both saw yesterday. The Corvette, that was pretty good as well. Two hundred and ninety something kilometers per hour. <laughs> okay, uh, so seventy is a hundred. Yeah, about one thirty, one forty in the group three cars. That's. That's about, that's twice as fast they're taking that set of corners. 180, yeah. 5 miles an hour. That's fast. Sideways, exit onto the last car straight, but he's chasing down big Brexit. A few cars just ahead of big Brexit as well. Theo and Schleif in the pits. I was on board with him when he did that. <laughs> that was incredible. Christian having a little bit of a battle with Schleif there. His GTR against the Corvette. Couldn't be. But I, I am open to battle if he really wants. Let him fight. Yeah. Right, he needs to lap <laughs> down. Every time you change gear, your car pops. Flames spit out the side. It's beautiful. And again. <laughs> it's the downshifting into turn one I like. Every time. Kill him. What <laughs> 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 an unsuccessful joke. Love it.
what did you do? <laughs> so, not illegal, just uh, bad uh, sportsmanship. <laughs> We'll go Kiki. I have to say... Uh, uh, no, you carry on, I'll, I'll say after this. Yeah, cause it's, uh, the uh, Nissan was sort of like, it was almost one make at one point, the Group 2 races. With the... Uh, with the Motul. It was just everything was there. everyone was in the Nissan. <laughs> My friend's driven one, and I'm not jealous one little bit. I promise. No. action out of West Horseshoe. So what have we got? We are just over a minute away from three quarters of the way through. Captain Emerald taking P1. Was that a fastest lap? No. 133s and 134s though for Captain Emerald. Andrew racing taking P2 in the Toyota making his way up to that start finish line here at Daytona. Big Brexit is only six seconds separating Andrew to Big Brexit although he's just gone into the pits but I'm assuming by now, especially with only half an hour left to go, he's got a bit of a plan. We'll see what happens with regards to tyre and fuel strategies as he fights out with Andrew Racing, as well as Fiji, who's now taken P3 as a big Brexit enters the pits. Getting the paycheck. And them new Michelins on racing medium compounds. And Ian in P5. Is he going to overtake big Brexit though? I'm not sure he's going to get around the track in time. But nevertheless, he's in a uh, Group 3 sandwich right now. 
as he exits West Horseshoe onto NASCAR. is still in the pits, Ian making his way around, Christian still leading the group threes in the number 46 GTR with his tiny little lights on the front oh, and a beautiful pops and bangs flame spitting out of the side of the car there and again and again, beautiful and he is just over a minute ahead of the Corvette in P2 for the group threes, making his way up to the final left hand corner here at Daytona. And on an invalid lap, <laughs> but nevertheless, you get across that start finish line into the 149s, into the 148s is Theo in his St. Jude liveried Volkswagen. Quite a nice uh, look on the inside of here as well. Updated version <laughs> from uh, GT Sport. I don't know whether that's a brake meter in the uh, middle of the cockpit there as well, but you can only see that on the GoPro cam. A nice little feature. And Max bringing it home in the St. Jude Liberated Group 3 Peugeot here at Daytona making his way through the final left hand corner crossing that start finish line making it lap 49 when he crosses meaning we are under 28 minutes left to go onto the final quarter of the two hour Daytona endurance race organized by Scallypunk Scallypunk Charity Endurance Racing. And we've got Titanium Tin Man also live comms for Lobby One. We've got Phil over there as well, the absolute legend racing in Lobby One. And we are here all joining together for a single cause, which is the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. And link to the donation will be in my description pinned at the top and also in everyone else's live stream in case you uh, go over and say hello as Captain Emerald takes the right hand side of Max and hills his way to Le Mans Andrew Racing also saying hello to Max as all three cars now make their way to Le Mans. Oh my. Nice camera shot of those three. Let's see what Andrew Racing can do as he chases down Captain Emerald. Not that far behind at all and only 15 seconds separate Andrew to Fiji so with 26 minutes of racing left to go that's not a lot of time separating these boys at all the spin will mean the difference as Theo now gets overtaken by Captain and comes under fire from Andrew into the first horseshoe taking the racing line and you can tell with that kind of driving that he is most certainly chasing down Captain Emerald so we've got a fight on our hands here theme in the back of the camera shot there Andrew and Captain making their way through West Horseshoe as we are rapidly bringing this to a close it's amazing how much time goes by when you get involved in what you're doing and Ian making his way into the horseshoe. We've got in the pits. We've got Max in the pits. We'll just stay on board with Max for a few moments. I've, uh, oh no, there he goes. Just going to mention the livery there. <laughs> also designed by Don, the absolute legend. D Max Racing. Beautiful work. 
seen quite seen him do quite a few liveries actually over the time. I know he's quite heavily involved in the livery making for you boys. I know we've changed Discord name now to Scallypunk. Was it PGR? Was it? I think it was PGR. That's the <laughs> racing. Oh. Sorry, the ma name may be gone, but we're all still clubs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Captain, making his way past Christian. Still see the wheel there. It's purple and pinks this time. Beautiful shot there. And Andrew making his way up to Christian. A group three back marker exiting West Horseshoe. Through the left hander onto the straight. And Andrew just able to hang on as he got sideways there for a good two seconds in a car that is not built to drift at all. Um, but he's fortunately saved that one. And uh, now in pursuit of Christian again, you can just see to the left hand side of the camera shot up to Le Mans. I was going to give Captain Emerald a bit of breathing space, but we'll see how the rest of this race progresses. Andrew slingshotting his way out of Le Mans. As we look from it's either the helicam shot or the, uh, the blimp. That's a beautiful shot of Andrew. And Christian as they make their way up to the start finish line here at Daytona. And we are into lap 60. No, my TV's trying to turn off. Fiji into the pits. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, mine does that as well. It's horrible when you 15 minutes left to go in a race, or for you guys, 23. <laughs> you have to the fight. The straights around Daytona are long enough, though. <laughs> it's fine. It took me longer to find the right button to press. Right, so Fiji losing podium position to Big Brexit. We'll see where he comes out, but he's going to be on fresher racing mediums as he now exits the pits. We'll see what he can do as he continues to chase Ooh. down Big Brexit, although he's took P3 back. Not sure what that was all about. Oh no, he is literally just ahead of Big Brexit. Only three seconds separating them. Obviously, he's on. Perhaps colder tyres, but it'll be interesting to see what they can do as the battle for P3 podium position is underway. Just over 20 minutes of racing left to go. We are bringing this to a close. The final moments are now upon us. Just jump on board with some of the other boys who we've got here fighting it out. Well, that's Captain Emerald making his way past Max. Group 1 and Group 3 is continuing to make their way through the Daytona circuit. And Captain Emerald being an absolute boss today, it must be said. Seemingly always in control of his uh, Group 1 as well. Race number 1, aptly. Stick it up, Theo and Schleif in the pits, Schleif out of the pits, Christian still P6. Oh, Ian struggling with the tyres. Looks like he's going to absolutely need to uh, head into the pits if he's uh, snaking like that on a straight. So I'd imagine Ian might hit the pits here. Yeah, in he goes. Warn I need to get the calculator out when I go into my pit next. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your group 3 P1. Well, actually make sure I have enough fuel to get to the end.
Yep, yeah, tactics most certainly come into play, especially in an endurance race. It can make or break um, races. And it's quite common. I think uh, Benson was telling me him and uh, Basic Ollie in their iRacing six hour endurance race. They won purely uh, because they put the correct amount of fuel in and did the right pit stops and the others didn't and that was the uh, deciding factor to the end of the race so we'll see what happens here as Ian now exits the pits here at Daytona he's going to be on fresh racing mediums uh, just uh, right him behind me is Christian two DTR boys back on track Ian come say hello again chases down Christian in his GTR Group 3 currently class leader and Ian on the left side Christian's G GTR backfiring again as he exits West Horseshoe on to NASCAR 1 and Ian making his way past working his way up to Le Mans Captain Emerald in the pits. So does that mean that Andrew Racing is going to take P1? He hasn't updated yet. 1 minute 45. So he's actually a lap behind. That's a shame. We could have had some nice racing between them, but it'll be interesting to see where they come out. Fiji making his way up to the rear end of the Corvette. Driven by the American Schleif into Le Mans. Where's the and big Brexit. Alarm's left. Oh, big Brexit. Three wide. Alarm's left, Matt. Is it 25 minutes? Exit in Le Mans there. We are. 1 hour 42 in. 43, so. 23. Sorry, 17. 17 minutes of racing left to go. Alright. Okay. And <laughs> Fiji and Big Brexit having a bit of a laugh into turn one there. Let's jump on board with Big Brexit. Christian in the pits. And Fiji in the camera shot there as they exit horseshoe into the left hander of Dogleg to the right hander of West Horseshoe. You can see the gears in the top of this group one. Just over the rear view L C D screen. And Fiji, I don't know whether he's just within slipstream range and the power of the group one and the size of that hole that McLaren Fiji is Powering through the air is giving Big Brexit a fair run. That's three tenths of a second he's had as they now enter Le Mans. And it looks as though Big Brexit has got a little bit of a better exit there, but Fiji well and truly within the toe of Big Brexit as they continue to fight it out and hurtled their way to the star finish line here at Daytona for the two hour Scallypunk St. Jude's Research Hospital charity race crossing our star finish line to lap 64 and hurtling their way to the left hander of turn one Fiji taking back P3 so we've got an incredible fight here for podium position between Big Brexit and Fiji wheel red orange and purple some beautiful camera shots here looks like we're on board with a helicam again as they make their way through West Horseshoe Fiji ahead hard on the brakes into the left hander get that car as straight as possible and it looks as though Fiji's just escaped slipstream range although 
Yeah, it might have actually been raised now. It does look as though he's just beginning to pull him back in. He's got two tenths of a second there of free time. Fiji into Le Mans. Big Brexit, point three, point two, point one. He's gone to the right hand side of Fiji. They are side by side into NASCAR for hurtling their way to the start finish line here at Daytona for lap 65. They're side by side. Fiji's got the inside line. Big Brexit on the outside into turn one. Briggs is going to have to concede to the outside line. Fiji still holding off P1. He just takes advantage, but Big Briggs it well and truly within slipstream range into the corner in section. And they are coming up to Sir Max. <laughs> who's, who's, <sighs> Get out Fiji's way. <laughs> What he's saying is, I'm going to be nice to say get out of the way, but what <laughs> it really means is get in the way of Brexit. Fiji on the inside, big Brexit. <laughs> he's took a late exit there to try and get the power down as early as possible. We'll see whether he's got enough. He is within slipstream range and it's gone from 0.6 to 0.5 as they make their way past. Sir Max's Peugeot Group 3 and all three cars now in to Le Mans. The speed of these things is unreal. Side by side into turn one. Fiji holding on to that position. Maybe breaks it was allowing that with the track limits, but nevertheless, Fiji in P1. The race continues through horseshoe up to the left hander of Dogleg. Ian deciding to uh, mow the lawn there. Keep Daytona looking nice and fresh into the right hander of West Horseshoe. And big Brexit is pushing there, he's onto the grass. Fiji might be able to get a better run out here with better quality tyres. Big Brexit loose on the exit there, which is going to sacrifice his run, meaning Fiji's got a pretty tasty advantage here. We'll see whether he can hold on to that. As the fight for P3 continues, Andrew is also in the pits, and Fiji is beginning to make his way round. As Andrew hard on the brakes, Toyota boys earning their paychecks. Michelin's off, Michelin's on, car is down, and it's fueling up. Only three liters of fuel, so this will be the last pit stop for Andrew with only 10 minutes of racing left to go. But that does that mean that P2 is now up for grabs? For the group one class out of the pits and yes is that yes no a bit of a glitch not there quite. not too far it's behind we see position. Theo there say yeah fight, play the game play the game yeah he was doing it when he went past me, you've got 10 minutes to hustle but that does mean that big brexit now p3 but mclaren only 0.3 of a second well and truly within slipstream range as he exits the final left hand corner onto the straight up to le mans into nascar one and two he's in slipstream range it's a 0.4 to 0.3 now and Andrew only 13 seconds of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Through 
Philemons. And I've never been Theo so nice. getting totaled by Big Brexit there. Exiting Limons. As the sun now begins to come up. So you're all treads some more beautiful scenes here on GT7 Daytona. As we bring the two hour endurance to a close in to lap 68. 10 minutes of racing, 9 minutes of racing left to go. That's probably 6 7 laps for the group ones. And a beautiful snake in motion between these two as they continue to fight it out. 1.2 to a 1.1 to a 0.8 of a second. He's in the slipstream range. He's going through the dog leg. Captain Emerald still comfortably in P1. 13 seconds separating the fight for P3 to P2. 0.6 of a second now. Get this exit right and he's going to have the slipstream in for Le Mans. Big Brexit losing grip the back end just swinging out there which means 0.4 of a second separates P3 to P4 uh, that's five laps well I think five and a half I'm not sure how much I needed <laughs> it was like a four or five <laughs> DTR photo finish, says Ian Christian. <laughs> and Christian and Andrew going into the horseshoe. Well, if that's Andrew, where's the other two? They're close behind, aren't they? Yeah, they'll be uh, uh, the rocking up soon, mate, that's for sure. Schleif in the corner right. is also being chased. By Andrew. Right, blue flag's just shown up. Yeah, blue flag, Andrew right on the tail end of that Corvette, exiting the final left hand corner onto the straight, and he takes the inside line of the Corvette. Well, there should be a. Uh... 0.4 of a second separating Fiji and Big Brexit on to the straight 0.3.2 he's gonna have the run here into <laughs> it's a pretty bright sunrise all the colors and the hues are starting to pop now on the cars as the sunlight reflects off these beautiful looking machines that go side by side as they come up and to then... Le Mans Fiji takes that position big Brexit with a big slide out and that's given Fiji a clean run of P3 Big Brexit not quite <laughs> that able to hold on. <laughs> DT cars on the inside of Big Brexit uh, yeah. there as well. Is that a bit scary? Captain Emerald working his way through Christian and Schleif in the Corvette and GTR. Theo rocking the Volkswagen. This is Fiji Good coming night, up, Neil. Thank you for popping in, mate. Have a lovely sleep. Hello. I feel, I feel safer in this position. And Max on shot there with the sunrise just coming over Daytona Raceway. Got some beautiful sights here to end the stream. Five minutes of racing left to go. And Christian and Fiji <laughs> having a quick encounter there. We're all okay. Just about. <laughs> To Le Mans. This sunrise is horrible. I could not see the boards. Sunlight drenching. Okay. I, can't, I can't see the braking boards into Le Mans. <laughs> Beautiful. It's beautiful. 
beautiful, really. They're is. bleached. But Schleif is well and truly within the slipstream of Christian's GTO as he makes his way up to the start finish line into lap 63. Four minutes and 10 seconds of racing left to go into turn one here at Daytona. We've got the blue flag being waved to P6 and 7. Ian making his way up, saying hello to Christian yet again to the DTR crew, but he does have to make his way through P7 and up to P6. Takes the Corvette. Oh! <laughs> I saw him on my radar. <laughs> he's lost oh. And I don't know whether he's oh. <laughs> clipped Schleif there. But that's given Christian a clean run. Ian must have come into contact there with the uh, Corvette because he's given that position back. We'll see whether Christian I holds off. So. Continues the race for the final three minutes here at Daytona. <laughs> okay, yeah. Theo into I horseshoe. That. That's fine. Max and Captain Emerald into NASCAR 3 through NASCAR 4 into that start finish line and with only three minutes of racing left to go I will finally say we are here for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital an amazing cause donations are in everyone's stream it's been an absolute pleasure to be able to commentate and also be in chat with as well a little bit different but quite nice to uh, get everyone's point of view as we bring this to a close <laughs> <laughs> Fiji on the inside of Max up to Dogleg Captain Emerald lap 73 and Andrew Racing joining us today, the absolute legend. Yeah, two hours is a long time, mate. You've done well. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, uh, it, all, it all feels fine now until you try getting up. DTR boys working together there. Into Le Mans. <laughs> okay, how fast can this Nissan go? <laughs> Alrighty. I still can't get over that when we push the sand seconds. Is this an endurance race or is this. It is, is it? Because I think it, it just is. stops dead on the clock. Which means we yeah, it'll, may it'll have 40 seconds. Oh, it'll finish on a lap, will it? It, it? They've updated it, it finishes on the lap. Ah, happy days, happy days, happy days. We do get a final lap to call out the final positions, but now would be a good time to big shout out to Captain Emerald, Andrew Racing, McLaren, Fiji, Big Brexit, Ian Cars in P5, Christian P6, yeah. Schleif P7. Theo PA and the legendary Sir Max Turbo in P9. Big shout out to the Scallypunk boys putting on some amazing charity races. It's great to uh, have these guys back and honoured to be here with them all. And of course we're here to race for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. And we are two hours 20 seconds in Andrew crosses that line Captain Emerald P1 Andrew P2 McLaren Fiji crosses that line in P3 <laughs> Big Brexit P4 
<laughs> Checkered flag. Max crosses <laughs> us that your, finish uh, line like a boss. Uh, Who else in. have we got? Ian and Kaz side by side, photo finish, just like he said. And what a beautiful way to end the two hour endurance race here at Daytona. I only got lap nine times. Indeed. Big shout out to Captain Emerald though for taking P1. 135s, 133s we can see there. I think almost every single one of my laps were a 46, but I'm happy with that. Absolutely brilliant. I'll tell you what though, the transition into nighttime was just awesome. Yeah. Really, really pretty. That was an that was a really good stream. Really good stream. <laughs> Good shout, good shout. Love that livery, says Don. Wow. <laughs> nice.
they've got. So yeah, they're about, they're about 15 laps to go. Legend, absolute legend. Well, I'm going to end it there as well. Big shout out to yeah. you, Max. It's um, what well, everything you've done is absolutely amazing. It's been a very successful night. I'm very happy that you've hit your donation um, marker and more. And, uh... Indeed, indeed. So. You've heard it all from the legend. That's going to be it from me, and uh, we'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao. We'll see you in Ruse chat. I'll see you in Ruse chat.